Good morning. Welcome to this Friday morning edition of Good Morning God for this April 21st. So glad to have you with me, uh, even though this is a recorded version for today as I take my Sabbath. But let's start off with song, a hymn you're probably familiar with, um, but it really ties in with our scripture this morning. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Our scripture for you this morning is we're picking up right where we left off with First Peter, going from chapter 1, verses 13 through 16. Therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance, but just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy, because I am holy. So, what can we take away from this this morning? Um, first, we or we're told the steps that we need to take if we are to live a life of holiness. We are to be prepared, right? Um, garbage in, garbage out. Uh, Proverbs tells us, for as you, think, as you think, so you are. And we must realize that um, we must learn what is right, right? Uh, we start in ignorance. That is... Um, resolved uh, through discipleship, right? As we come alongside our, our new brothers and sisters and, and teach them uh, the way of Christ, right? We are to be obedient. We are not to be conformed to the world. We are to be holy. Now there is only one who is truly holy, but, and our holiness, our sanctification comes from Jesus Christ, but we must know him, love him, and obey him. We must walk in fellowship with him, and as Samuel Lucas wrote, the essence of true holiness consists in conformity to the nature and will of God. So not the world, but to the nature and will of God. Let's pray. Good morning, God. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. Lord God, help us to prepare our minds and hearts for what you have for us. Help us to be obedient and help us to live lives holy and dedicated to you. And we thank you for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, beloved, go with God. And God will certainly go with you. And have a blessed day.